I'm Will Rondo. I'm the plant manager at the license plate factory here in Adrian, Michigan. Uh, this is the Gus Harrison Correctional Facility, and we actually have level one inmates that work for us. And currently, I have about 65 guys that work here. Uh, we work four days a week. Let me give you a quick overview of how license plates are actually made. It starts out as a coil of aluminum that's roughly 2,200 pounds. And we're able to get five plates per pound of aluminum. We take that coil of aluminum and put on to what's called a decoiler. It actually unwinds the aluminum down the line. From there it goes into what's called a straightener. What does a straightener do? It takes things or dents out of the material and it straightens it up. From there it goes to a small oven that heats up the aluminum. From there, all it is, believe it or not, are just rolls of stickers. They get applied to the aluminum. They're called graphic sheeting. They come from 3M Corporation. And once the rolls of stickers are applied to the aluminum, it goes into what's called a blanking press. And, and what you end up getting basically are blanks. Okay, you have blanks. You also it cuts the holes at the same time the blanking press does. Also puts the corner on. You take the blank and you go to the next department, which is the hydraulics department. That's where you stamp out the numbers or letters on the plate. Okay, it's called embossing process. You take the blank, you put it into the press. We have what are called little clapper dies. What they are is they have numbers or letter inserts to match up which ones you want to make that plate with. You put them into the press and then you activate the press. It comes down and stamps off the plate the way you want it made. From there, you take the plates that are now stamped out or embossed over to the inking department. And from there, the plate goes into the ether roller head, and the ink is applied to the plate that's the embossed part of the plate. And from there, the plate goes down an assembly line, and any defects in the plate are looked at by some of the workers out there. If the plate is good, they'll put it onto a metal racking system. And from there, the plate actually goes into an oven at about uh, 275 degrees for about 45 minutes. The plate comes out the other end of the operation, which is our packaging department. And an actual worker takes the plates off the racks, puts them into piles of 50. And then they take the plates from the pile of 50 and put it onto a conveyor belt. We have inspectors that check the plates out for more defects if the plates are looking really good and there's no scratches or anything in the plate. They'll take 50 plates into a box, they'll close the box up. The plates then will go back to our back warehouse. This is what's considered a B-54. This is how we get our orders every Monday from different regions in the state. Uh, with the amount, what plate it is with the amount and where to ship. Uh, we also have an operation here in Michigan, which is unlike most in other states, all the uh, logos on the plate, which you will see right here, are actually silk screened here at the prison. Uh, Since Michigan doesn't have a front plate, we're able to util utilize that a little bit, and we go to high schools, we actually have them give us their logo, high school logo, we make license plates for them. Yeah, it's kind of fun, we work with the organizations, it could be the band, it could be the cheerleading organization, uh, art department or whatever, we make license plates for them. And they in turn take those license plates that they buy from us and they sell them for their booster program. Not only are we making license plates for the general public, we're also trying to help out organizations out there and it's been a wonderful thing for us. We employ inmates to learn a profession here, which hopefully will take off to the world with them which means they will get a good job and not come back to prison. That's one of our major goals here also, you know, is to teach these guys a skill.